Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Satya Vati. I'm an organizer with the PSL, Party for Socialism and Liberation, and I'm also a healthcare worker. And I'm here today to oppose any present or future resolutions in support of Israel. Any resolution th that declares unwavering support for Israel is in reality your unwavering support for racist apartheid, colonialism, illegal occupation, and terrorism towards the Palestinian people. The apartheid state of Israel has subject the indigenous Palestinian people to 75 years of mass displacement, humiliation, and torture. People with any sense of history know that Hamas is an excuse to finish the ethnic cleansing that the Zionist project started a century ago. The Israeli state is the terrorist organization you commissioners should be condemning. And I cannot fathom by what standard of morality one can talk about the right to self-defense of a colonial state that has committed acts of terror towards Palestinians for 75 years. The initial resolution shows how little you think of Palestinians because you make no mention of them at all in the despicable resolution that belongs in a trash can. And if you have any real humanity in you, you would stand with the thousands of people and children who are being bombed and killed by Israel right now in their homes, hospitals, schools, mosques, churches in Gaza and the West Bank with no end in sight. And instead, you choose to stand with the colonizers over the colonized, with the oppressors over the oppressed. But the world stands with Palestine. Millions of people all over the world and tens of thousands of people in cities across the U.S. have taken to the streets in the last two weeks to demand an end to Israeli apartheid and occupation, an end to the genocidal bombing of Gaza, and an end to all U.S. aid to Israel immediately. And the protest movement for a free Palestine is making a difference. Millions of people in the U.S. are cutting through the lies of the corporate media and politicians like you and are learning the truth about Palestine. And on November 4, tens of thousands of people from across the country are going to march on the White House to, to make it loud and clear to the war criminal Joe Biden and the imperialist Congress that the American people refuse to fund genocide, refuse to fund apartheid, and refuse to fund colonial occupation. And we maintain that resistance is justified when people are occupied. We will never condemn the resistance of colonized people against colonial, colonialism. And there can be no peace without justice. So those who want peace and justice for all people in Palestine should demand an end to Israel's illegal colonial occupation. They must demand the fall of Israeli apartheid. Free, free Palestine.